Have you ever been trying to build a report up against a deadline and when you're using query, you realize you're missing data? And when you try to Google it and find solutions online, then your totals don't work. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem once and for all. So let's jump right in. So first of all, why is data not showing up here? So the reason why is because of data types. So I'm not going to go into a ton of detail, but basically we have different data types. So text, numbers, and then Boolean. And so Boolean can look like this, true, false, or it can be checkboxes. And so what query does is it looks at your column and determines what data is there to determine what data type it is to display accordingly. So for example, here we have these two numbers. So we can leave these two alone, and I'm just going to take this NA, and I'm going to replace the rest of these. And then we come up here. Now you can see that these are returning. So our NA is here. Now, one thing that just happened is this turned to zero. So if I undo, you can see here's a number. And if I redo, that goes to zero. So what's happening is now this is treating it as text because it sees it's mostly text. So what if we do something like this? Let's do true false. And now if we look, let's just delete the actual one. Now there's nothing showing up. And you can see that we have a number and a text. So it can read the number as text. And so it could be a text of 2044. But nothing is going to show up now unless we change one of these to true or false. So that's just showing you those data types. So I'm not going to go into more detail on that. So let me jump in and show you how to fix this. So the easiest solution, if it works for you, is to use a filter formula instead of the query. And then we'll just reference these and then take our sales rep equals our sales rep drop down. And so now we have those in there. And now we have both our text and our numbers coming through and our sum formula still works. So this is the easiest and quickest solution for this issue. Now, one thing that may come up is maybe use the query to pick certain columns. And if so, you may be wondering how you can use filter to do the same thing. So check out this video on how to choose columns in filter. And then we're going to continue on with how to do this with query. So first of all, one thing we could do is we could just manually set the format of our column. And so this doesn't always work, but typically it does. So it's worth trying. And so here we can come over here and click plain text. And you can see now our NA is showing up. Now this is still off. So what we could do to resolve this is put array formula value. Now, before I put this sum in here, let me just take this out real quick and just show what shows up here. So we have 2044 and 4596, and then we have this value error because they're not be parsed to a number. So what we need to do before we do that sum is put this if error around it, and that just turns it into a blank. So in other words, it's kind of like what our query did originally before we put that text formatting. But now we can put that sum around this, and it shows up just like that. So you can do the same kind of idea if you're using a sum ifs or average ifs and things like that as well to turn it back into a number. So that's one way you can do that. And this solution will work on any of the ways that you may turn it into text. Now, another approach, maybe if this formatting doesn't work. And or maybe you can't change the format on this and sometimes this happens if you're pulling in from another source or it's showing up automatically and that format keeps adjusting and you keep having this issue you can do it inside this formula as well and so you could do it on the whole range that's just going to be the quickest way to demonstrate this so again we're doing array formula and just like on the sum uh, let me explain the reason why we're doing this is because we want this to apply to the whole range we're looking at and so what we can do in here is do to text and then come in here, close this out. Now, the one thing we need to do here in this query is when we do this, we no longer have A, B, C, D, etc. Now it's just reading as a custom table. And so we do need to now change these to column references here like this. So column two, column three, column one equals. And so now 
this is working. And you can see our total still here. Now, if we go back to our original sum, you'll still see we have a zero because again, this is text. And so this is really the only way to have both text and numbers show up in this circumstance. Now, one thing you can do as well is only do certain columns with those two texts because you may have something like a quantity field where you don't have any text. And then you have maybe an amount or some other field where you have both text and numbers and you want both of them to show up. So in this case, what we're going to have to do is similar to what our filter method looks like to choose certain columns. And so what we do then, we do something like B9 to C, comma, and then here we'll just do it on this one column. And so you can see now that shows up. And just let me explain what we're doing here. So these are called array literals. And so we're creating our own little table here. We can see this is working just like as if we had formatted this as text. So this is a way you can do where maybe you have another field in here. You can exclude fields. Um, and you can even do a custom mashup of where you want those fields. If, for example, you had E9 um, was maybe your quantity field. And then we can also add that here by doing call four. And so now you can see those show up there. We can change that format here, just like that. So you may be wondering with that, well, could we just change the format here? And so we can change this and let's try our sum but it's still showing up as zero because we can try to format this as a number, but this is already declaring it as text. So that doesn't work, but that's how we can include multiple columns, some with numbers. So if we just do something like this sum on this one, that one will add it up because these are numbers. They're not inside this text. So we can show you real quick. We need to add this one as text as well. We can just change it like that. And now this is showing zero as well because this is now text. So you can split up your columns in whatever order that you choose in order to get the results that you need. So I'm just going to take this one off for now. So that's how you can force everything to show up. Now let's add some true and false in here. Actually, let's do it right here. And so you can see now this false is coming through, even though it's a Boolean. So this allows you to render that into the format that you need. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you. And check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. So thank you for watching and have a great day.